Hey, hey, you guys. I hope you're doing well. God bless you. So happy to see you. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to spend a little time with me. If this is your first time visiting my channel, you are welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, you guys are family. You know that, right? <laughs> Thank you for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. Thank you for... Um, the comments in the comment section. Some of you guys agree, some of you guys disagree at times, you know, but I love reading the comments. And um, just thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I want to share a dream that I had on uh, the Tuesday last week, Tuesday, the 27th, July 27th. And in this particular dream, I happened to be outside of um, a person that I've been praying for. I've been fasting and praying for them. They've got a lot going on. And, you know, definitely the warfare around their life is just, it's, you know, they're hard pressed. So I've been praying for them. And all of a sudden in my dream, I found myself outside of their bedroom, outside of their window and just pressed down up against the wall. And all of a sudden I could just hear like, as if I was in the middle of battle, as if there was war going on, just boom, boom, boom. And, you know, just like bombs and, you know, whatever other, you know, gunshots and things like that going on. And I could hear speech and talk going on in the back, but I wasn't sure if they were talking to me directly or talking amongst themselves. I wasn't completely sure, but I just knew that I, was, I felt as if I was in a war zone. And I ended up waking up. I don't think there was anything else that ha happened after that. I was just huddled down up against their bedroom window and on the outside of it. And this warfare is going on around me. And I didn't look back behind me, but I just could hear these voices, hear the sounds, hear, heard everything that was going on. Um, but I stayed huddled down, huddled down. And because um, I just, I was, I was just shocked, <laughs> even in my dream, to uh, even be experiencing this. And I woke up from this dream and I just said, you know, this is warfare. There's warfare, literal warfare going on in the spirit world um, between the sides of good and evil for this particular person. And myself, I've been praying for them and fasting for them. Others have been doing so as well. And maybe this is the, you know, the effect of my prayers, you know, the strongholds have not been, how do I say, there's an encampment of angels around them, I believe, and that the enemy has not been able to push through and completely take them out and take them over. And so we hold up the wall. We continue to to pray. And even in the spirit world, you know, pray. And so I wanted to share that with you, essence, and the fact that we need to make sure that we pray for each other. I've said that before, making sure that we pray, pray for each other and praying for one another because we never really know what's happening and going on with a person. Somebody can, you know, you see them, they put on a good face, they're smiling, you know, he, 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 you know, everything is all well. Um, even on social media, you know, they put on a good face, but behind that, you know, a lot of us wear masks on a day-to-day -day basis and we never really fully, totally know what's happening and going on. And even if you see somebody, you think you're on good terms with them, but but you really don't know what's completely happening behind doors. And so I believe it's important then to pray for people. And even if you do know what's happening, even more so, um, we have not the burden, but we have the responsibility. You know, we are our brother's keeper of making sure that we pray for each other. There is warfare going on in the spirit world. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what's happening and what's going on. The enemy is here. He's here to steal, kill, and destroy. But God is saying that I've come that you may have life and life more abundantly. So he's got a hedge of protection around you. He's got his angels there. He's covering you with his blood, you know, Psalms 91, covering you and, you know, protecting you. Um, but we have to pray. We have to do what we can and partner with God and pray for each other. God has called us to pray. That's a way that we can communicate with him. And also then that we can pr present our requests and make them known to him, even though he sees and knows our heart, but we can still, you know, make these requests to him. Pray for our, you know, a family member, pray for a friend, pray for a coworker, um, whether, you know, we know what's going on with them or not, but just to pray for them because there was literal warfare going on in the spirit world and what's happening and going on in the spirit world oftentimes, you know, manifests here in the physical world, you know, spirit world is even a little bit more realer than the physical world. If it's happening in the spiritual world, you know, 
it's going to happen at some point in time in the physical world. So we need to make sure that we pray against certain attacks, pray, you know, pray against these things from happening uh, on our brothers and sisters' lives, our own personal lives and anybody else around us. You know, we need to make sure that we pray for each other, because like I said, the devil is here to steal, kill and destroy. He wants to take your life. If you are a child of God, if you are a Christian, if you are worshiping God, you know, and have that relationship with him, he wants to take you out. He does not like you. He does not care for you. And he knows what his, you know, what the end of him is going to be. He knows he's going to die and burn in the lake of fire. And he's trying to take as many as he possibly can with him. As human beings, we were never met. That was never our end. We were supposed to, you know, reign with Christ and to, you know, live on this earth and enjoy life and all that good stuff. But because of sin in the world, many are distracted. Many are being led astray. And many are succumbing to the wiles of, of the enemy and will end up burning in hell with him. And that is not the plan that God has for us. And so my encouragement to you is then to make sure that, you know, let us pray for each other. Pray for yourselves, definitely, because there's a war going on on for you, but praying also for our brothers and sisters in Christ also as well. Pray for your spouse, pray for your children, pray for your parents, pray for your friends, your co-workers, you know, whatever the situation may be, wherever, you know, the Holy Spirit impresses you or whomever he impresses you to pray for, pray for them. Sometimes you may think of somebody and, oh, you know, I haven't thought about that person in forever. Pray for them. There is warfare going on in the spirit realm. And sometimes we may know, you know, what it's all about. Other times we may not know, but it is our responsibility responsibility as um, children of the Most High King to pray for each other. We are brothers and sisters in Christ, and we need to make sure that we pray for each other. Uh, Satan sees you. He knows you. The enemy knows you, and he has a plan for you, and he wants to take you out. I think about that one. I can't remember the the um, exact Bible verse. Maybe I'll see if I can put it down after um, the video, put it down in the description box and what have you below of that one story. There were, was the, um, this guy, he was trying to um, rebuke, uh, how do I say, demons out of a person, you know, to make them to leave out of him. And the demons, like, as if, you know, they laughed at him and said, you know, who are you? It's like, I know all these other disciples, you know, but who are you? I don't know you. And if the enemy does not know you, I've said this to others, if the enemy does not know you, if Satan doesn't know your name and know who you are and doesn't have a plan for your life, then something is wrong. You're not living your life correctly. Correct, which means that you need to get your act together. You need to, you know, call on God and say, hey, Lord, I need to get my life together. What can I do so I can live a life that's more pleasing to you and so that I can make sure that, you know, I claim this gift of salvation that you've, you know, blessed everybody with, but I want to claim it. I don't want to just, you know, let it go on the past, you know, and think, oh, maybe tomorrow. I want to claim that today. So, you know, that is my encouragement to you. The enemy needs to know who you are because if he doesn't, there's something wrong. And so, we need to pray for each other, okay? There is warfare going on. Um, there is a battle going on, going on for you, going on for me. So as I am praying for you, I pray for all of you on a daily basis. And I hope that you would pray for me too. Uh, pray for those around you. Pray for those who God puts on your hearts. Just pray, pray, pray. We're in war, you guys. And until God comes and takes us all to heaven, Jesus comes and takes us all with him, um, we are in war. We are at, you know, there's a battle going on. So don't give up. Don't lose hope. Um, don't fear. Don't be afraid. Put your trust in God. Don't pay attention to things that are happening, going on around you. Put your trust in God. Ask the Lord, what do I need to do? How can I handle this situation. Take time, fast, and pray and spend time with God. Spend time in the Word and see where God is leading you uh, so you don't, don't get caught up and, you know, go off astray or get distracted um, by um, things that may be happening, happening and going on around you. Sorry. Um, the Lord's plans are always better. He knows best. So check in with Him first. Um, but God loves you. He cares for you. Uh, and He has, you know, prepared a place for you preparing and, you know, has a place for you. And he has this gift of salvation, but you have to claim it. You have to want it. And so it's there for you. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that you could have done that God is going to say, hey, you know, you're not going to make it to heaven. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. God loves you. He loves you so much. And he's praying for you. And I am praying for you. And I hope to see you one day in glory up there above. Uh, but until then, Give your heart to God. Give your heart to Christ. And um, he'll take you from there. Holy Spirit will impress you and lead you and take you from there. Um, I love you guys. I'm going to end this here. It's longer than what I expected it to be. But there's warfare going on, you guys. There, we are in battle. We are at battle. And don't lose hope. 
trust in God. You will see us through. Okay, let's pray for one another. I love you guys. Ciao.